Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For this clip, I will show you how to make a beautiful hat. Let's see the materials. I use the round room with 36 pegs. And I use two kinds of yarns. One like uh, acrylic yarns. And another one is cotton yarn, 4 ply cotton yarn. I use Peter Pan. This yarn can found in Thailand. And then we need a hook. We need scissor. Yarn needle and straw. Okay, let's start. I try to throw the yarns from the center side of the yarns, like this, of the cotton yarn. And another one is also, but I will take from the outside. And then I will use these two yarns together. These two yarns will put in the yarn needles, and then I throw the straws. The straw can help me to use e wrap easily okay now we have to start by use the anchor peg this is the, the anchor peg we have to knot it by you this way don't too tight because you have to pull it out again Okay, just enough. And then you hold the straws. Put the yarn in the right hand. It's easy to do. And now you hold the straws. You hold the loom and hold the straw like this. And you make an e wrap to all the pegs of the loom. See, I use two yarns together. I use cotton yarns for make this hat stronger. If I use just only acrylic yarn like a fur yarns, maybe maybe broke in not so long time. And now we continue e wrap to all pick. Uh, this room has thirty six pick. And you use this way, you can see that the straw can help you wrap your pig easily. And you can work your project faster. Okay, now to the end of the loom. Now we are cast on already. And then we will do again. You can see this is e wrap to your loom. And now you again do e wrap again for the second rows. I cannot uh, put the loom on the table because I think it's not easy to wrap. Then I will hold the loom in my hand like this. And then I can use the straw wrap the pig easily see you can see that how fast is it okay now it's ready to knit then you took your hook 
and start at the end peg take the bottom pass take the bottom yarn pass like this bottom up and behind the peg we call this way knit by e wrap yeah like this you can hold the hook like this too because I use this way and I can make my work faster you see you can see yes this way is easy and fast okay you need all the pig to the end Okay, now we finish the first row and then you put your yarn to the bottom again for ready to wrap the second row. Yeah, push the yarn like this to the bottom of the room and then you do you wrap again. Okay, I'll show you how. Hold the straw like this, hold the loom like this, and then wrap, e-wrap this way. Don't don't wrap too tight. If you if you make it so tight when you knit, it not easy and can make your finger get pain. Okay, now is all the pig and then you repeat the first step like a knit bottom up pass through the pig bottom yeah and pass the pig behind that is we call knit button up button up and behind the peg bottom up and behind the peg like this when you first use the room knitting don't be worry about the yarn much but do it slowly slowly and practice more and more you can use this well and now this is the second row finish and then you push then you yes press the yarn down again in this way Okay, I will do it again. It's the third row. Yes, we also always use e wrap for all of the head. No need any type of knitting. Just use e wrap for all the pig like this.
And when you finish the third row, you have to take the yarn off the anchor peg. And put the tail inside the loom. Don't cut it, but put it inside. And then you continue to do an e wrap for 10 or 12 rows. It's not easy for me, so I will use the counter to count the row for me. And now it's the second row. Then we will continue an e wrap till we get 10 or 12 row or about 2 inches or 2 and a half inches for make a brim. This is 10 rows that I knit my yarn and I will shake for the brim. How can shake? See, you see the tail, then you put it in the peg, at the anchor peg, the position this, and you can shake how brim is it. I, I think I should need one more row to make a perfect brim. Okay, let's make uh, one row. One or two row is possible. Just e wrap again. Okay, now it's ready to make a brim. Then you hold your yarn at the anchor peg. And you can see the curve of the yarn like this. And then you use the hook. 
Yeah. Maybe maybe you difficult at the first pick, but you can see the whole of the yarn like this and then you push to the pick and then you hold the yarn like this. Yeah, flow it. Yeah, so you can see the curve of it. And you use the hook. Put the yarn. Okay, do it again. Yes, this one is the first. And then you hold the yarn at the anchor peg first. And you continue to do at the second, the third, and next peg by this way. Yeah, like this. You see, I hold my yarn to shake. And do this all the loom. Yeah, like this. You can see, you can hold the yarn and the loom like this to just see me. Yeah, you can see the curve of it. And put the yarn into the pig. The yarn into the pig. If you are not sure, so you can do it slowly and slowly. You have to take the two yarns to the pig together. Okay, now the end pick. Yes. See, the perfect brim. And the tail. Where is the tail? You have to put the tail into the brim. Inside the brim like this. See. Put the tail of the head into the brim. Use the hook. Help you. Wow, wow, wow. The tail is hidden. And you can see the true laws in the pig. And you again do knitting. And then you can get a brim.
I have reset my counter because we need to count the first again to the end of the hat. You hold the loom this way and you hold the straw like this. It can help you do your work fast.
For this project, I use 25 rolls for this hat. It depends on your yarns that you use. Maybe 20, maybe 22, 24, depend on it. And depend on how long of the hat you want. And then you again knit. Two rows become one row again. Okay then, before you take out the hat of the room, you have to decrease the pig chip, the first pig to the second pig, like this way. Then the second pig has two rows. Yes, like this, and then you knit it off, knit the yarn off, okay, and then you shape the yarn in the pick 3 to the yarn in the pick 4, and knit again, yes. You have to pull the yarns a bit and then shift to the other pig and then knit and it becomes the one row again and you repeat this to the end. This way can make your hat more beautiful. Like this. Be careful when you shift the yarn in the pig and then you need again okay repeat to, to do that again Okay, and now we have to make sure your yarns like a one round and a half and then you cut your yarn
one round and a half or maybe two rounds depend on you and then you put the yarn in the needle because we are now ready to knit the head of the room and you have to do this way again again I have to put the yarn in the needle okay good I got it okay now you can knit off you have to put the needle from bottom to up yeah this you have to hold the room this way and then yes This is the knit of the room and we almost finished this hat. Yeah, you can take it off right now. Yeah, this and then you do to another pick. Okay, now we have to take it off the room. Yes. And then you have to pull your yarns to make a hat. Yes, it looks like a beautiful hat. And also soft hat make you so warm like this and then you have to make a knot on the top of your head
after you make a knot, you have to put the, the needle inside out. Make the head, make the knot to your head again. Inside, make a knot. Yeah. So tight. Two or three times you sure that you have this so secure. And then you put some yarn through your head and cut your yarn. Yes, the hat is look so beautiful and soft. Is it's too short so you can continue put your yarn through the head again. Okay, cut it off. And then you go to outside. Yes, it's almost finished. You have, you can choose the head like this, or you can put the pom pom for your head. Okay, then I will put the pom pom on my head. I have the clip to show you how to make a pom pom like this. And now I have to attach the pom pom and make the pom pom secure with my head. Okay, now I finish my hat. Very beautiful, soft, lovely. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell. When I have a new video, it can notify you as well. Any suggestion? Please let me know by comment under my grape video. It's my pleasure about that okay see you next time bye bye